All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. As you can see, a lot has changed since last week. And today we're gonna make some huge progress on this truck bed trailer build that we're doing. I kind of want to recap really quick what's been going on, but before I do, I do want to say thank you guys so much for all the prayers last week and all the nice comments from my wife and her family. It really means a lot to us that, you know, uh, so many of you would reach out with prayers and stuff uh, about, you know, my mother-in-law passing away, and it was really nice of you guys. I really appreciate it, and I really appreciate all of you guys who are coming back every single week clicking my videos, keeping up with these builds, and just you know showing interest in what I'm doing here. I mean, it really helps motivate me to keep this content going, keep builds like this happening. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, really. I really appreciate you guys coming back every week and watching my videos. And if you are one of the ones that are coming back every single week, check to see if you're subscribed. YouTube sent me this little uh, analytics, analytics or whatever it is, my view count, and I can kind of see how many of you guys are here every single week watching my content. And 70 something percent, I think it was like 73% of you guys, the, the people who are here every week and clicking on the videos every week are not even subscribed. So you might think that you're subscribed, uh, but, you, but you might not be subscribed. Look up under this video and if this little red button says subscribe, it would be awesome if you'd hit that and subscribe to the channel, especially if you're already here watching the videos anyway. I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up with this build and we're gonna have really cool future builds, you know, coming up. So anyway, I really appreciate all that guys. It, it really, it, it means a lot to me, I, I really do. So now we're gonna get into this build today. This week's video, we're gonna be installing a brand new rooftop tent from Benny Hike. And I know I say it just about every time that I do a review video on a rooftop tent, that this tent is different than the, all the others. This one actually is. This is a brand new tent from Benny Hike, and I have yet to review a tent like this, so I'm really excited to install this with you guys today, kind of review it, pop it open, because it opens different than any tent that I've had, so that's gonna be really cool. But before we get into the install of the tent and all that fun stuff, I wanna walk you guys around this, because last week we did the vinyl wrap. I did a full vinyl wrap on both sides, and I built that custom floor, that wooden floor. I carpeted it, dropped it in, it looks great, and I told you guys I was gonna paint, and you've seen at the beginning of this video, the painting is done. I taped everything off, took it outside in the back because that bed liner, that's what I used is that black bed liner. It's some strong stuff, so I had to take it out back in the woods and spray out there because I didn't want to risk that stuff getting on anything in here, and I didn't want to smell it for the next few, you know, two or three days in my garage, but as you can see, she's blacked out. All of the red is completely gone, and I love it. Like, I, I've even had comments from you guys on Instagram where I shared pictures after I painted it, and you were like, man, I was on the fence about this build until I see it now, and it's really turning out to be cool. So let me, got, let me walk you guys around it, and then we're gonna get into the tent install. But before we do the tent install, I'm gonna show you guys how we're installing the tent on this truck bed trailer. So first things first, check out this paint job. Now, it is not perfect by no means. I am not a painter. And I had one can, I'm gonna show you on the other side, but I had one can that when I started spraying it, it was really thin for some reason. And I had a few runs that I tried to fix and had a couple of mistakes. The tailgate is still not back. So I'm, I told you guys last week, I'm having something special done with the tailgate. It's really cool. You'll probably know what I'm having done to it by the end of this video, but that's gonna be for a later video when the, when the tailgate actually gets here. But here's the other side with the fuel door. It looks really good, but you can kind of see, and I, I'm gonna show you my mistakes. You see this little squiggle here? It's hard to tell on camera because of the blacks not showing up, but there's a few squiggles and there's a little bad spot here. I had a run happen and it come out really thin. So I hit panic mode and grabbed a roller and tried to fix it. And then I started to make it worse. So I just had to stop what I was doing and I'll be able to touch it up in the future, but it's not, it's not too bad. Once we get the tent on here, we get this tailgate on here, it's gonna be awesome. And also, check these bad boys out. So in the past couple of years, I have built several trailers on my channel. I've built adventure trailers, I have built kayak trailers, boat trailers, I've converted utility trailers and harbor freight trailers, and in every one of those videos, I put on custom wheels, and in every video, I order my custom wheels from wreckstuff.com. If you go to their website, they have a ton of custom wheels that you can get for your trailer, your boat trailer, jet ski trailer, utility trailer. 
get on there, go check them out. You can order them right there. You can order them with the tires already installed. So they just show up to your door and they're ready to go on there. That's where I got these from and they are awesome. And we're gonna have a matching spare on the front. It's gonna look so good. Now, on to the bed rack. I know that's the first thing a lot of you guys seen as soon as I showed this video or took pictures on Instagram is this freaking awesome bed rack system. So this is the Billy Bars bed rack system. And I've been partnered with Billy Bars for a very long time. I was one of the first YouTubers to install their tailgate covers, hint, hint. <laughs> Uh, I did their tailgate covers on my Toyota Tacoma. I love that thing. I still rock it on my truck. And they make their bed covers, I mean their bed racks, so that you can run tonneau covers and keep your rooftop tent or your whatever you haul on these racks. These racks will haul a ton. And once you bolt them on, I want you to see, I'm shaking the whole trailer. I want you to see how solid this rack system is. Once you bolt it on, it is solid as a rock. I'm running three separate ones on here, three separate rails that is. Now when you order your bed rack system, you'll get it with two and you do, that's all you need. Now the only reason I'm running the center one is because I have a plan to add struts from this middle one to the tent that we're gonna be installing so that we can hinge the tent up and down to access this bed. But you, you only need two to run rooftop tents you can haul bicycles, kayaks, whatever you want on this, and they look really good. They've got a couple of different options you can go with. So first of all, before I get into the options and stuff, if you want a system like this, a bed rack like this on your truck, go to billybars.com, go to their website, and just click on, I think it's shop all bed racks, and there you can choose your truck, or if you're like me, you're doing like a special project or you want a custom size, just go down and click on the custom one, and what you can do is order the specific size rails that you need for your, what you're putting it on, and you can actually have these put on anything you want. It doesn't have to be your truck. Uh, as you can see, we're building this one on an old truck bed trailer, but what you do once you're there, you choose how high you want it. I think they've got a, two or three different options, or maybe just two. I think it's a five inch height, which it would be five inches from here to here, or an eight inch height. I went with the eight because I wanted that extra room. I wanted to get the tent a little bit higher and I wanted to rock these awesome molly panels. What do y'all think about these molly panels? I love how they've got their logo CNC'd right into the side with the little trees cut in. That is really cool. But I'm running this so that we can attach gear to it. We can attach anything, axes, rotopacks, whatever we want to put on the side of this molly panel and we'll have it on both sides. But I really like this really tall. They've got the shorter molly panel too. If you wanted to go the lower, I think I had that on my truck. I've got a video where I installed the bed rack on my Tacoma a few years ago and I ran the five inch rails or the five inch height and I ran their smaller molly panel. But yeah, there is a ton of bed racks on the market. I'm not gonna lie, y'all know there's a bunch out there, but this is the most heavy duty and easy to use system that I have ever had. And it's the only system out there that I think, there might be one or two off-brand ones that you know that are not gonna last, but this one you can run a full tonneau cover. You see how it comes over the bed here? You can run a full tonneau cover on your truck bed and still run your tents or whatever you wanna put up here, your kayak. And that's why I wanted to go with these guys because we're gonna put a tonneau cover on this bed to protect my gear and have the tent right on top of it. So I had to get smart about a year ago when I started filming all these review videos about these rooftop tents. I'm usually doing this by myself here at the house in the garage and I used an uh, engine hoist now to try to pick these up. Uh, I, don't, I don't suggest trying to load one of these by yourself. They are pretty heavy. Uh, you know, two people could throw it up on truck bed pretty easy, but they, they get pretty heavy by yourself and I've, I've loaded them by myself before by kind of teetering them back and forth and it's really dangerous. So if you're gonna do it, this is an engine hoist. I just kind of built me a little slide in attachment here that I can usually use it pretty easy in the garage. I just got me some straps and a little board that I use and now we're just gonna pick it up. But this is the tent, and as you can see, it's got the Benny Hike. You're gonna get to see it better in just a minute once we get it lifted up and put on the bed, but it's the Benny Hike Alumabod V2, and it pops straight up. It's really cool. There hasn't been one like this on the channel yet, so let me get it hoisted up. This'll take a minute. This little, it takes like a million pumps to go up a few inches.
as you can see, it's still pretty sketchy by yourself. I need shorter straps actually. These are a little bit too long and I have to watch the ceiling with how high I can jack this thing up. But at least I can get it over it. We can set it down and slide it into place. I think that's good enough. We'll slide it down right here. And there she is. Now we'll just get her exactly where we need her. One side, as I said earlier, we're gonna have the new awning brackets from Billy Bars installed on here so we can run a, an awning off the side of this trailer. Man, that thing looks good on here. It takes a little bit longer using a engine hoist like this because you gotta go really slow. You gotta take your time so you don't accidentally knock the tin off or flip the hoist over. But if you take your time, it's a back saver, I promise, especially if you got no help. Let me get all these straps off and we're gonna check this tin out. All right, she's all loaded up and looks good. I was able to slide it over far enough so we can install our Billy Bars awning mount, but check this bad boy out. So before I pop it open, I kinda wanna show you the outside of it because it looks different than most tents. I, I didn't know if I was gonna like this extra bracket on the side and they've got this here, it's a powder coated steel but they got it there because they've got T-Track systems on top. So we're gonna be able to run our kayak upside down or a bike rack or whatever we want on top of that rooftop tent. And man, I, I actually think it looks good. That little bit of orange where it says Benny Hike there looks really good on here. But it's a aluminum hard shell case all the way around. It's got the nice pull latches. They're lockable all the way around. It's got two on this side and two on the other side. This thing actually has an 800 pound weight capacity on the inside. That is insane. Most of these tents like this do not have a weight capacity that high, this size anyway. Now this is the Alumabod V2, uh, two to three person tent, but they've also got a three to four person tent, which is a little bit bigger than this one. And I'm not sure what the weight capacity is on it. I'm sure it's more than 800 pounds, but this one, 800 pounds, I mean, that's a lot. That's that's me, my wife, dogs, all of our gear, and we're still good on the inside of there, especially when you pair it with these solid Billy Bar racks that we've got on here now. If you're interested in getting you a Benny Hike tent like this, go to their website. They've got a fantastic website with a bunch of different tents, but go to their website and check it out. They've got the V2s like this. They've got V2s of that Bivy tent. They're really competitive in price, and the shipping is really great. I got this tent within like four days after they said it. After, as soon as they said they shipped it, about four days later it showed up here at my house. Now what I wanna do before we pop this tent open outside, I don't think I've got the headroom in here to pop it open because this thing pops straight up, unlike other tents where it hinges from the sides or the back, this one goes straight up. So I don't think I've got the headroom in here. So what I wanna do is go ahead and install the Billy Bar awning mount that goes on these rails here. And I've got the new Benny Hike hard shell aluminum awning, this bad boy right here. We're gonna install that on the side, on this side. The door will be on the other side. And then once the awning's installed, we'll pull this thing out to the campsite out back, pop it open and do a really good walk around and climb in here and see how much room this thing's actually got. So in order to run a awning that I can adjust up and down so that you can walk under it, you don't really want an awning that's really low because then you have to go straight up and then if it rains, all the water is gonna go to the lowest point, which would guide it right back to your truck or your trailer if you're building something like this. So you want the high point to be at least above your head up against your tent or truck. That way you can lower the other end if rain happens and the rain will shed off the other way. Billy Bars has this new setup and I'm gonna show it to you really quick. You get a couple of brackets. So you get a bracket that looks like this. You get an adjustment bracket. It says Billy Bars stamp right in there. This is what slides up and down and gives you that telescopic feel of being able to adjust your awning up and down. And you get a couple of bars. This is like, this is the same stuff that their tracks are made out of. And the way it's gonna go together, you get all the hardware. This bracket right here is gonna simply pop right up under there. Then you're gonna have this bracket go into here. And once all that locks together and you get to utilize the T-Track systems that's built into this unit so you don't have to drill any holes, you don't have to modify your bed rack or your awning rack at all. And then you have this bad boy right here which is gonna be your adjustment bar. 
and then our, our awning is going to mount to this, and we're going to be able to raise it up and come back down. I hope you all can see that really good. Once I get all the bolts put on here, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. We've got two of these. We're going to run one on this end and run one on the other end, and our awning will be able to be mounted right here. When I travel, if I wanted to, if I'm going really far and I don't want to travel with it up too high, I'll be able to slide the awning down almost the same height as our tent, and it'll be low profile, so I ain't got to worry about anything. And when I get to the campsite, I can raise this joker up, lock it into place, pop open the tent, and have a nice shaded area back here. So let me get this thing put together, and I'll show you how it works. We'll throw the awning on it, and then we can get outside and check this tent out. All right, guys, it is the next morning. It's actually really nice out here this morning. But as you can see, I got the trailer out here. I finished installing the awning last night. It got too dark to finish the video out here. I wanted some good light for you guys to see this tent and this awning set up. And the first thing I noticed about driving this thing around is I may need to extend the tongue on this thing because backing it up was is a nightmare it is so short trying to see this thing behind you and back it up to it was it was horrible we're probably going to end up extending that tongue out and getting a level spot as you can see i'm up on blocks and i'm still nowhere near level my this i live on the side of a mountain and there's not a level spot back here we're definitely going to have to hurry up and fabricate some sort of four corner jack system so we don't have to worry about trying to find a level spot when i get to the campsite or wherever we're at in the woods or by the lake I can just park it there and use the four corner jacks to level this thing out without having to worry about anything because trying to get this thing level just to get this shot for you guys was also a nightmare. So anyway, it's not level, it's not perfect, but what do you guys think? It's outside in the daylight. This is actually the first time that I've hooked this trailer to my truck. I've been, when I've worked on it over the past few weeks, I've just been dragging it around the yard and you know, the driveway with the golf cart. But, but anyway, let's pop open this new Alumabod V2 tent by Benny Hike and see what it's all about. All right, let's pop this bad boy open. First off, what do you guys think about that camo behind my Tacoma? How good does that look? It's not the exact gray on the trailer, but I, I really like it. It's like a blacked out. It blends in good. It matches really good behind my truck. I love that thing. All right, now let's pop this thing open. So, like I said earlier, you got four latches. They pop up. I got them unlocked already, so we don't have to unlock them. Pop that one. Pop this one. And what's cool is they all four have locks. It's not just like one or two of them. Now I'm gonna step up here. And get this one. I also like how low this is right now. I may end up putting a lift kit on here because I know when we add more weight, it's gonna drop more, but I like being able to reach everything without having to climb up on the trailer. So what you do is you're supposed to just pick up on this side. There it goes. And then we'll go to the other side. And I think that's it. I think that is it. It kind of, see it's still stretching out. So the shocks are on the inside. If you didn't notice that, there's no struts on the outside of this tent, no shocks on the outside, no hinges. The only thing you got are your four locking latches and a couple of handles. Let me get back and see how this looks. I like that. Check that out. I like that a lot. All right, so the, the entryway is gonna be on this side, and then our camping area is gonna be on the other side. Now, I know I mentioned that I was gonna run a 270 awning, and I still might in the future, but I really like the lightweight of the Benny Hike awning. So this is an awning. If you haven't seen one, I've done a review on one before. This one's a little bit shorter, and it matches this tent, so we're gonna set it up in just a minute. But this is a full pull-out awning. It is super light, and it's in a hard shell case. There's no bag, there's no zipper to deal with, and it's weight, it's probably, it, five or six of those would, wouldn't equal the weight of that 270 awning, and that's why I really like it. 
All right, let's check out the inside of this tent. I keep stepping in that hole, I'm gonna break my neck. So we got our door over here. It looks like it just peels up. So like I mentioned, since this is the door on this side, the you know the awnings on the other side, we're gonna be getting in and out on this side. They've got these little hooks already here for that. Let me get in here and the ladder should be in here. There's a cable hanging down right there. And I've actually got a battery pack with me because I, I knew this thing, it's got built-in LED lights. Let me grab my little power bank here and I'm gonna stick it in here. Because I'm going to show you all the inside of this thing, too, which looks a lot bigger than I thought. Let's set it right here. Yep, there's the LEDs. All right, so we got the ladder in here. What is this? This is a shoe bag, and it should slide right here. I kind of know where all this stuff goes because I've reviewed so many different rooftop tents and a lot of Benny Hikes tents as they've been coming out with them. I've been re reviewing them for them. This is gonna be your awning, or not your awning. Well, yeah, I guess it's your tent door awnings, just the poles. And But you've seen how easy this thing was to set up. You undo four latches and let go, you know, push and let go, and it's basically set up. All you gotta do is hang your ladder, plug in your lights, and this is gonna be to get this awning up, and I wanna go ahead and do that so y'all can see the inside with me. It started to sprinkle. I hope this rain holds off. They got these little pocket areas where you stick these poles in. You bend them back just like that. And these things are built with all of this stuff is in T-Tracks. So you can always rearrange it, move it around. If you, wanted, if you decided you wanted to use the door on the other side, you could just move your ladder stuff over to that T-Track side. Check that out. Now we're gonna roll up our, this is a mosquito net. I'm gonna roll it out of the way. And there's two more poles in this bag to set up the other side. I'm not gonna set it up because we got the awning over there. Let me roll this out of the way. Look at that mattress. And I'm gonna show y'all up close. I'm gonna grab the camera and walk you around. That's a good mattress. That's more than two inches right there. I like that. Now let me see. This has got to be our ladder, and it, the ladder's got its own ladder bag, zipped up, so, and a ladder bag, you wouldn't think is really important when you have a rooftop tent, like if you're just getting into this, but make sure your tent comes with a, a ladder bag, because a lot of places you're gonna go, your ladder's gonna get dirty, and if you're storing it inside of your tent, if you don't have a ladder bag to put it in, you're gonna get that dirt all in your mattress, all over your sheets, or your pillowcases, and stuff like that. Make sure you got a ladder bag, I'm gonna throw, the bag back here. And I wish I could have leveled this out a lot more. I'm sure this ladder is not going to want to level itself too well. Make sure they lock. It's got a nice heavy duty telescoping ladder, even though I'm on a hill. <laughs> all right. And then you got your bag with all your manual stuff in it. This thing comes with the tools that you need to adjust anything. It's got the Allen heads. It's, it even comes with a ratcheting wrench, like a brand new ratcheting wrench. So you don't have to have any tools at home to mount this tent, to set this tent up. It literally comes with everything you need right in the bag. This is for our awning. Okay, so this the awning also comes with all that. It comes with, I'll show you the wrench. And it's not like you would think, oh, well, it comes with some crappy tools. No, check this out. It's got the Allen wrenches, the, the tie down stakes and all, but they come with a really nice, look at that, little 13 millimeter. I mean, it's not a snap on or anything, but it's not a, you know, a stamped out piece of steel either. So let me grab that. We'll try to clear all this out so y'all can see the inside. And also the awning, when we get to it, I forgot to mention, it comes with its own light strip. So once you pop the awning out, you can literally, it's got Velcro on the back. You can stick it up, up under there, plug it into a power source like we have this one, or if you do both. And right now, Benny Hike has got the sale going on where if you order a rooftop tent, you get a awning with it. So, I mean, a free awning. So I seen that on their website when I was looking last night. So, and I'm gonna have a promo code under this video in the video description. So go check them out after you watch this video. 
See if they've got a tent that you're interested in. If you like this one, it's available on their website right now. You can use the promo code, save you some money, and get a free awning when you order it. But you get to LED strip. I might even use this on the inside of here instead of outside because I've got camp lights that I like to hang on my awning. Let me walk you all around this thing really quick. Actually, before I walk you around, let's set up the awning, get everything completely set up, and then I'm gonna grab the camera. We'll go inside of this. I'm gonna open the windows up really quick and get some more light in there and show you how big it actually is. That is actually pretty nice. I like, oh, and it's got a little uh, thing. It's got a carpeted roof. That's nice, a soft insulated roof. It's got a big thing hanging where you can stuff your clothes above your head in there too. That's really cool. Let's set up the awning and I'll walk you guys around it and you get a good, better look at how it is. I do like this tent because there's nothing that folds out. You know, a lot of my other tents, like my smaller one, now I love my little bivy because it's super compact, but this I don't have to fold anything out and I'm not hanging off the side of the trailer. It just goes straight up. So it, it's not as big on the inside as some of these other tents that double, but you get this straight up. You don't have anything that folds out and it sets up within 10 seconds and I'm sure it's gonna take down just the same. All right, now I can walk you guys around it. So as you can see, I don't have the billy bars extended up like I mentioned earlier when we were in the shop setting this thing up, but you can extend those up. I didn't wanna do it because it's fixing to start raining and I wanna make sure I get this video done for you guys, but you can extend the billy bars up uh, probably another eight inches, which will get it way above my head on that end. And then you can, you don't have that slope going back down towards the trailer, but I've also got the, the legs right here extended out really tall because I wanted to be able to walk under here and show you, look how nice this is. So this will be a nice area to cook up under, hang out in the shade. Here's the, the, po the poles on the side that they go out. You can always check out my other video too. I go in detail on setting one of these awnings up from Benny Hike. These are the nicest awnings that I've, I've seen on the market yet. The case, you can see this up close. It just kind of opens up. It's hard shell and it is super lightweight. And it looks so good on here. You can kind of see how long this thing is and they got different lengths. I think this one is over nine feet long this way and it's like six foot seven inches this way. So it's the perfect, you know, the, the perfect width that matches the tent on the width really good. All right, now let's check out this tent as my hens up there. I've got a bunch of chickens in my chicken run up there. Sounds like three of them are laying an egg at the same time. So I'm sorry about if y'all hear all that noise in the background, but here is the tent. So here's the back door. Like I've got it zipped shut and it Velcro shut. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to have it open. It's got a mosquito net if you want to prop it open and use it as an extra window. But you've also got a window right over there in the front. You got a window on both ends with mosquito net. This strap is for, I don't have to use it because I can actually reach up there and grab the, the handle that was on, mounted on the side. But these straps are here if you've got it on a really tall truck. So you can pull this down and shut the tent up. And there's one on both sides. Here's this side. My, my chickens are still up there going nuts. I don't know if y'all can hear them or not. Man, that looks really good. So this is the shoe bag that slides right in on the side. It just slides right in that groove. Here's the ladder. Now let's go inside this thing. Let me show it to you. There's your mattress. It's got a nice, thick, soft mattress. And it's got a, what are they called, a wick mat? If I can get it out, all this stuff out of the way, there's your wick mat and it's got a solid floor, solid aluminum floor. And I've got the mosquito net kind of tucked out of the way right there. And here is the inside of this thing. And you feel the whole trailer just shift sideways because I don't have it on jack stands. Let's see if I can show you the LED light above my head. See the LED strip? It runs all the way down this end and it brightens it up pretty good in here. Here's the ceiling I was talking about. It's got this thing that you can pull down. The ceiling's actually carpeted, check that out. That's nice, but you can throw your clothes up here above your head when you're in here sleeping. I didn't unzip these windows like I said I was gonna do, but that's putting off a good bit of light. I've got my little power bank in here. So here's the hinges, if you wondered how they work. They're in their own little bags, so they can't pinch you. They can't get you, you know, they're, it's not gonna shut with you in it. And you've got one on all four corners, and that's what that is right there. Got one there, got one over there. There's even some bags that are hanging down in the corners for you to put 
stuff like your, your wallet, keys, cell phone while you're sleeping. So it looks like the rain actually made its way around us, which is good so I can keep filming out here. I wanna climb in this thing and see how much room there is on the inside. So let me do that. Let me climb in here and stretch out and I'll grab the camera and bring you guys in here so you can see it really good. Man, we gotta get this uh, trailer stabilized. I don't like having the, this thing is leaning really bad on this side. Oh, let's get in here. So you pull your boots off and you can drop them right down into the boot bag right here. So you don't track a bunch of dirt in here. Now my socks are gonna be filthy too. Oh, let me just climb back up in here. All right, so I've got all the windows open so there's a lot more light in here. I forgot to show there's a window up here by the door too. So you got that window, that window, the back door, that window, and that window. Let's climb in here. It's gonna be really hard to film this part, y'all, so bear with me. Get all the, I gotta rake all the leaves off my socks. All right, we are in the new tent. So let me stretch out so I can give you all a good size comparison. I'm 5'9", and I'm laid in here right now. My feet are about, I don't know, what is that? Let's see if I can film it. They're a good ways away. I can't tell because of that, but I, I'm a good bit away. Right there, we got this whole area here. I'm not laying up on the wall, but I am tucked over, so my wife and I is gonna fit in here very comfortable. And we got our two chihuahuas that'll be in here with us. It's not bad. If I can show you the ceiling, I'll show you that. So there's our light that goes down the side. And this little thing right here, this is so hard to film, y'all. See this thing here? You can throw your t-shirts or clothes or whatever, pajamas, whatever you want to end the tent with you when you're sleeping, you can chunk up there above your head and let it hang. There's another bag on the corner for putting your cell phone or whatever you want to stick in there. Looks like there's two of them. There's another one down here in this corner. So you can't really sit up all the way. You can get up pretty tall. If you, you could definitely change clothes in here if you needed to but you can't just sit straight up. It's not that tall. I'm not sure the exact height when it's popped up like this, but see, so I'm 5'9", and I definitely can't sit on my butt with my head straight up. Let's see. I have to kind of hook my neck over just a little bit. But I mean, we're only gonna be sleeping in here, so this is gonna do the job. This is nice. Get my boots back on. All right. Now. Let me get my power bank out so we can turn the light off in there. All right, so this is gonna be the full process of shutting this tin up. Let's see how long it takes. First thing you're gonna do is set your ladder bag up so you can put your ladder up. All you do is mash these buttons and shut it up. And it's got a strap that goes around it with a buckle. And I'm not gonna be in no hurry or speed through it. I just wanna see what it would typically take, how long it would actually take to just shut this thing up. It goes in there like that. And we're gonna take our two poles down. Slide out our shoe bag. Oh, missed the bag completely with one. So 
put that in there. I'm gonna throw the instructions and stuff back in here. And our little tool kit. I like how you can pack the tent up with your sleeping stuff already in it if you want to. Now, one thing I learned with all the rooftop tents that I've had over the past year is when you're closing up these aluminum shell ones, you don't want to zip it up completely airtight. You want to leave some windows open, you know, like uh, just unzip one or two windows so that when you shut it, the air can push its way out because if not, it creates kind of a vacuum on the inside and it can be a pain in the butt to try to shut. So I'm gonna leave this door open so we got a way for the air to blow out and we're ready to shut this thing up. Let me start up here on this end. And these straps are handy if you grab the strap and I believe we just shut one end at a time just like this. And you see the fabric's gonna wanna throw out, which is fine. You just tuck it right back in. Let me check the fabric over here. And I don't think you're supposed to latch one side. I think we can just pull this thing down and shut it now. Make sure you throw these straps back on the inside so they're not hanging out. How easy is that? Man, that is, that is quick. That's what I love about these hard shell tents. The setup and takedown is so easy. Now I'm not gonna buckle them down yet. I'm gonna make sure all my fabric's not pinched up under the seal because these have a really good water seal gasket all the way around them. And you don't want anything in between that because if you get into a rainstorm when you're driving, you want a nice seal so no water can get in there on your fabric. But once you get everything the way you want it, then you just go around and latch it shut. How long did that take? I didn't even time it. Just like that, packed up, ready to leave camp. So next week's video, we should have our tailgate back in time from me having that custom work done to it. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. I've got the wrap left over. I'm gonna wrap it, get it bed lined to match the truck, get the tailgate installed, and I've gotta start fabricating a mount system up here. I wanna mount a propane tank, our spare tire, and that APL 55 fridge from Iceco with that new drawer slide system that I gave you guys a sneak peek of last week. If you didn't see it, go check out last week's video. You'll know what I'm talking about, but it's a really cool drawer system. So we should be able to pop our awning out, have a fridge that pulls out here and a drawer that pulls out from up under it. And we're also gonna start installing stuff on the inside. And I've gotta figure out a the four corner leveling system you know we got to get some four corner jacks on this thing because this is just not cutting it every time i moved it wanted to bounce around i really want to get that done the reason i haven't done them yet is because i know i'm going to be adding a lot of stuff like the fridge i want to make sure that i get all of our stuff mounted where it's going to go and i don't accidentally put the four corner jacks somewhere where it's going to be blocking something you know so anyway we're going to get to all that next week hopefully we'll i got to pick up the steel I'll have everything in shop that I need to fabricate all this stuff up. It's gonna be really cool. What do you guys think about this build so far? I absolutely love it. It's turned out a, a lot better than I expected when I first got this trailer into the garage. I really like this thing. So y'all uh, stay tuned for next week's video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Check out Benny Hike. I'm gonna have the awnings linked below, the tent linked below with a coupon code. I'm gonna have it right next to the link. You can go on there right now, use the coupon code, order you a tent, get you an awning with it and save some money by using my coupon code, guys. These tents are really high quality made. I really like these Benny Hike tents. I've got three of them now, and all three of them are high quality. You've seen me use them here on the channel or, or review them out here for you guys on the channel. I really like them a lot. And before I forget, the winner of the mystery tackle box, I know you guys thought I was gonna forget. So I've got their name pulled up, so I don't forget it. All right, so two weeks ago, 
I told you guys I wanted you to name the trailer. I wanted a really cool name. It could be funny, it could be whatever, whatever you wanted to call this thing. And I was gonna pick the person that had the coolest, the funniest name. I'm gonna stick the name on the side of this thing and we're gonna call it that for now on. That, that's, for now on, it is gonna be called this. The winner, and I, have, I haven't pinned, it, pinned his comments yet, but I gotta pin it to the top of the comments under the video. The winner is Natchkey Family Adventures. I'll put it on the screen right here. And the name he went with, and my wife just, she loved it. As soon as she seen it, she loved it. And, I, and then I was like, oh my God, because I read it wrong. So he called it Trailer Swift, <laughs> not Taylor Swift. He called it Trailer Swift. And a lot of you guys actually seen it and said, this is the one, this, we're going with this one. So from now on, from henceforward, this trailer will be known as Trailer Swift. Congratulations, Natchke family. Uh, reach out to me if you can. I'll put my, my information is in the video description. I'll have my email right here below this video. You can reach out to me that way. I will confirm that it is actually you before I go any further, and I'll send you guys out a mystery tackle box, or I'll have mystery tackle box ship you one straight to your house. I really appreciate it. That's a really good name, man. I really like it. A Trailer Swift, who would have thought that this is gonna be cool. What do you guys think? Trailer Swift, I'm gonna have it put on the side. I might even have the same orange so that it matches, but I'll have some sort of cool design put back here or either in the front right here where it actually says the name Trailer Swift. I like it, I think it's funny. I think it goes with the build pretty good. So congratulations, I'll get you that mystery tackle box sent out. Guys, that's gonna do it for this week's video. If you're interested in any of the stuff that I use in my videos, remember you can always look in the video description below. You can click those links. I've usually got promo codes when I partner with companies. They send me coupon codes to share with y'all to save you some money. So if you're gonna buy something and you wanna save some money, if, if you've seen it on my channel, odds are there's a coupon code. Just reach down there, click on it, and go get it for you. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you wanna support my channel, you can click the join button. It's $4.99 a month, five bucks, guys. You get to be a part of the members only stuff. I get to I upload these videos early for my members. I do sneak peeks and stuff like that for my members. So get, click that join button, support the channel, $5 a month. We're growing, guys. This channel's getting bigger and bigger, and I got you to thank for it. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next Monday at six o'clock. Peace.